here we are about to review the Big Mac, the double Big Mac. Let's see if it stacks up to its reputation. <laughs> Hello there and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is Gossie and today we are reviewing the double Big Mac from McDonald's. Doesn't need too much of an introduction, this one. It is a four patty Big Mac. Um, let's just, I have to say this one has been terribly, terribly constructed. I can see gherkin flying out the sides which isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world, but get rid of that. Two of the packs were falling out. It's a beast of a burger, it's big. But let's see how this goes. Like, this review might come across quite harsh and not maybe a true reflection on what the double Big Mac actually is like. Because it is poorly constructed. There's, I've got cheese coming out the side of here. Gherkins were already out. When I first opened the box, two of the patties were pretty much fully, pretty much fully slid out of the side. So I already know it's a poorly constructed um, uh, burger anyway, which might not be the case when I have one again like going forward but it tastes because it's, it tastes too dry for what it should be there should be much more big mac sauce in there to compensate for the extra two patties so actually it tastes a bit dry and i prefer a normal big mac um to this because my instinct is that yeah it's very meaty but is pretty dry and pretty bland i'm not getting enough big mac sauce and the big mac sauce is is the the je ne sais quoi for uh takeaway burgers um uh, so for me i feel like yeah we all love a burger that you know we all love them taking a an iconic burger and you know making it bigger or whatever i prefer the grand big mac uh to to this double um, I feel like they've missed the target a little bit, but again, I don't know whether that's just because um, because it was poorly constructed in the first place. But that's on them, isn't it? If they get a poor review because they're building shitty burgers. Um, for me, of course, it's still a very nice burger, but poor compared to what you could have or what it could have been. So I'm going to say it's a, a high three. Actually, yeah, probably my one of my weaker McDonald's reviews. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos and all the rest of that. Uh, well, well, big up you all. Lots of love. Take care. Stay safe. Bye. Wait. Stop the press. I'm recording again. Hey, Val, I don't know if you'd say stop the press. I'm recording again. I, I think that's probably an oxymoron. Um, I got into the heart of the burger, where it's so central. This is good. I'm enjoying it much more now. However, it shouldn't have taken half the burger to start enjoying. And again, I think that's a testament to how poorly constructed the um, the burger actually is. But. It does just enough to make it a four star product. Right. Peace out. Bye. The people who came up with it, like the boss just said, you have a week off, you deserve it. Yeah. Uh, oh shit, whilst they're away, we best think of the uh, what to do with the winter ones. Well, you, intern. <laughs> uh, joking.